A centrifugal compressor has three parts, impeller, diffuser, volute casing. The impeller is a circular disc that has curved blades. These blades turn at high speeds too. As the impeller turns, refrigerant is sucked into the center and then is pushed away from the center by centrifugal force. We can see that the impeller is the component that increases the pressure of the refrigerant. It is here in the impeller that the refrigerant is compressed. After the impeller moves the refrigerant outwards, the diffuser comes in to change the direction the refrigerant is moving in. The diffuser is a circular container around the impeller. The diffuser changes the direction of the refrigerant to a circular motion. It also slows down the refrigerant. The volute casing is a container around the diffuser. It is connected to the discharge outlet. We can think of the volute casing as a funnel that directs the refrigerant out of the compressor. In this module, we discussed about two types of compressors and what they are used for. These were, the screw compressor, the centrifugal compressor. We learned how two screws rotate within each other to compress gases. We also discussed about the centrifugal force used in centrifugal compressors. We learned how different components of a centrifugal compressor assist each other to compress the gas.